Pythagoras theorem using coordinates. Example 1. We are given a line on a Cartesian coordinate graph, and we are asked to find the length of this line. We can take from this graph coordinates. So we can get the first coordinate here, which is at the point 3 and 7. And we can get our second coordinate, which is at the point 12 and 1. We can join these lines up to an intersection point to form a triangle. And we can identify the coordinate point of this third corner, which is at 3, 1. And now we have a triangle, a right angle triangle. So we can calculate the length of this triangle, and we do this by subtracting the, the x values of the coordinate points of these two corners. So we're doing 12 take away 3, which is 9. So 9 units is the length. Now we can calculate the height of this triangle. Again, we do this by subtracting the y coordinate values. So 7 take away 1 which is six, six units. And now we can label these A, B, and C. And we can use our Pythagoras theorem formula. C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. Substituting our A and B, so A is nine, and B is six. Nine squared is 81, six squared is 36. 81 plus 36 is 117. Using our calculator, we take the square root of 117, which gives us 10.8166. And rounding this to two decimal places, we get 10.82 units. Example two, we are given a line with coordinates given. So the first point is minus four and four, the second point is 10 and minus three. And we are asked to calculate the length of this line. So again, this is where we have to draw the triangle. So we could extend these and we can find the point of the third coordinate. Now this is relatively straightforward. To find the x and y value of this coordinate point, we take the x value of the first point and the y value of the second point. So the coordinate of this point is minus 4 and minus 3. Now let's calculate the height. Well, the height is the y value, take away the y value. So this is 4 take away minus 3, which is 4 add 3, which is 7. So 7 units. Let's find the length. The length, we're going to subtract the x value of this point from the x value of this point. So it'll be 10 take away minus 4, which is 10 add 4, which is 14 units. And now we have our triangle. And we can add our A, our B, and our C label, because now we can substitute these into Pythagoras' theorem. So A is 7 squared, B will be 14 squared. And this is where I would put this straight into a calculator. So the square root of 7 squared plus 14 squared, hit equals, and we get 15.65247. We can round this to two decimal places, as being 15.65 units.